I've done a lot of things privately in my life, but then I only had myself to let down. But if I have a goal or a dream that I want to turn into a goal and I tell five people, 50 people, or 500 people, then I truly have accountability and it's no longer just me that I have to let down. I think there's so much power in broadcasting your goals, broadcasting your dreams and turning them into goals because it gives you support, but also it gives you that accountability and it really makes that goal something real. What's up guys? I'm Tim Frick. I'm on a journey and I want you to come along. Okay. Cool. I was thinking about doing a video about my frustration on not knowing what to do a video about. Then I thought, you know what? I'm gonna do a video. You, you guys know parts of my journey and I really appreciate all your support but I just thought that I would just break it down and give you guys all the parts I thought I would give you guys all the parts of my journey and tell you all the down and dirty details so that you know exactly what I've been doing and uh, and how I've gotten here and and you guys are all you know proud of me and, and I, I really appreciate the support and, and some of you are inspired by what I'm doing that was never what I intended to do but I think it's freaking awesome so keep it up maybe if I can if I can inspire anybody that's cool that's just what I want to do about eight months ago and for a period you know long before that I was about 475 pounds I, I had let parts of my life including my health go in the back burner and that's just something that, that I needed to fix. When I left my job, I decided that the first and foremost thing that I needed to take care of was my weight and my health. I, uh, I started doing kind of a keto, paleo kind of a diet. And I know those are two totally different things and don't get me wrong, I'm sorry for those of you who are prescribed to one or the other. I can go without grains, I can't go without cheese. I love my cheese anyway, so that's kind of what it came down to. So I sort of did a paleo with some cheese and I took out some grains, 20 or 30 pounds down that road. I'd lost about 20 or 30 pounds. I was doing pretty well and I, I did a lot of research. I talked to a lot of people and I made the decision for me to get bariatric surgery, specifically gastric bypass. Now, this is not something that I mean to gloss over because I know it's a, it's a very contentious subject. It's a subject that breeds a lot of discussion and I'm not trying to make light of it. It was certainly nothing I made light of. That's something we can totally get into. I know some people don't even understand it. I was talking to a friend who's very intelligent and she was like, well, how much weight have you lost since the surgery? I was like, oh, about 70 pounds. She said, how much weight did you lose from the surgery? I said, do you know what the surgery is? Like, they don't take anything out. And all I did was, you know, you trade in one set of problems for a whole other set of problems. And it's been a tough road. I have no regrets. No, 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 no regrets. Um, I'm so happy with what I did. And, you know, it was uh, something that a lot of people didn't understand when I first made the decision to do that. Some people supported me even though, they didn't, even though they didn't understand it. Some people had a lot of questions. Some people were critics. One of my, one of my best friends was, was a big critic and, and, and he just he said, why do you want to do it another way, this way? And I said, look, where I am in my life, I'm almost 36 years old and I want to be here. This is where I think I deserve to be and this is where I want to live the rest of my life. And the longer that I take to get from here to here, the less of my life that I have to live here where I want to be and where I deserve to be. So that was my explanation to him was this, this is, there's no right way or wrong way to do it. Just like most things, there's no right way or wrong way to do it. There's a lot of tools we have access to and this was just one tool. And for me personally, it was the tool that I chose to get to where I needed to be, wanted to be as fast as possible within you know healthy parameters so that I could live the most of my life in the place where I want to and deserve to be. So that's what it was for me. I think that if you if you think that if you that's something you're looking into, I say give it a shot, take a look at it. But but I say look at all your tools and and any viable, healthy, uh, responsible tool that you can use to get where you need to be. I say you do it. So that's what I decided to do. So that was a road that that led to me losing a, another about. 30 or 40 pounds, depending on, I can't remember exactly where I started, but um, at the end of the day, I lost about 60 pounds when, uh, when I had my surgery. Had my surgery in December, and since then, I've lost a little over 70 pounds. So, like I said, I have no regrets. I mean, this is what I'm doing. This is my journey. I want to share it with you guys because 
I want you to know, uh, for those of you who support, I, I love it and I, I really appreciate the support and I just want you to know all the dirty details. For those of you who can be inspired by this, I mean, you gotta just take the bull by the horns and you gotta do what you gotta do to get where you need to be. And I know I've talked about this before and I'll talk about it again, but I mean, I have focused on myself and that sounds selfish, but it has made me a more positive, energetic, passionate, awesome person and every day I wake up and I have thoughts in my head and I have things I need to do and all these things that I need to get out. I need to share. I want to share with you. I want to share with the world. And that's how Project Reclamation was born. That's how the podcast was born. That's why I'm doing these videos because I just feel like such a more awesome version of myself and not to be arrogant about it, but in a way that I just want to share everything with everyone else and everything that I'm doing to benefit myself. I want to share that and if I can translate that to any of you just taking one step in the right direction to become a better better version of yourself, that's exactly what I'm trying to do and that way we all win. I'm not here to tell you that I'm someone great. I'm just a guy who's doing a thing to make myself a little bit better and originally it was a health thing. Now I'm realizing like it's just it's infused so much more life into me and I just want to get that out to all of you guys and to anyone who will listen and anybody who will kind of join me on my journey. Like if there's something you want to change, change it. And I'm here with you. I, I am a regular guy with no superpowers, no special anything who's doing this thing and it's making me such a better person that I want to use that to reach out to everyone else and I want to help you guys do whatever it is that you want to do or if just, you know, watching me be all crazy and talk like I, I smoked some meth this morning or something, if that inspires you to just be happier and more positive about your day and go do something and do it a little bit better than you did yesterday, that is my message and I know I'm all over the place this morning but I've been struggling for like a week and a half trying to figure out how to get this next video out to you guys and I decided I don't need inspiration. I am my inspiration. I've been my inspiration for the last eight months and I've done all this just because I wanted to. Because I wanted to, now that is, it's just put me in so many different directions and given me so many new paths and, and I just wanted to share that with you guys. This is me and this is what I've been doing. If you guys have questions, please leave comments, ask me questions, send me an email, tfrick at gmail.com, send me a Facebook message, whatever it is, reach out to me. If you have any questions about what I'm doing, let me know. If you have comments, let me know. If you want to ridicule me, that's fine too. Let me know. I can take it. That's it. So that's my journey. I am nowhere near done, but I want as many of you to come with me as possible. Either just join me in support or, you know, join me in, in something that you want to do to change your life. So that's it for now. So. Talk to you soon. That's my story. Stick it to it.